then Uber, rough ride on Friday for the company's debut, the company's second day of trading being watched closely this morning. Uber started publicly trading on Friday at $42 a share. The stock is down 4.5%. Uh, it was offered at 45 It was priced at $45, so it actually opened lower than the actual offering price, or broke offering price. Joining us right now is Tigress Financial Partner, Senior Partner, Chief Investment Officer, and Director of Research, Ivan Feinseth. Ivan, it's good to see you this morning. Thanks so much Thank for you. being here. Your reaction to Uber's performance? Well, uh, these both, Lyft and Uber, are premium price, but they do create, the both companies now being public, create this category of transportation as a service. And uh, there's going to be the need for investors to allocate money to that sector because it's a growth opportunity. And both these companies have niche opportunities to expand their business. For example, Lyft is going very strongly in, in healthcare transportation, giving people rides to doctors who couldn't get there on their own. Lyft also has a enterprise console that a business can arrange rides for employees and customers uh, who can't normally arrange or you know, don't use the app on their own, primarily older people. So there's a huge opportunity in this healthcare service. And um, also this transportation as a service is going to inc not only include Uber and Lyft, but companies that create technology for autonomous vehicles, such as um, uh, Google's Waymo, GM Cruise. Mm. Um, Ford's Nvidia. got Argo, too. For, for Ford yes. has Argo. So how come these stocks are trading down, then? Well, one, they, they came public, and they're very highly valued. They're based, they're, their opportunity is based on future growth, not current profitability. So it is going to be a long-term theme. And uh, we also are going through a very difficult market right now. So um, uh, I probably the timing was a little off, but mm. uh, there's been a huge demand for these companies to go public to uh, for investors to be able to invest in this transportation as a service concept. Ivan, more broadly, the IPO market with all the volatility we're having in the stock market right now as a result of the, the trade uh, war, do you think this pumps the brakes on other big high-profile IPO unicorns that may be coming down the pike this year, especially in the shared economy? Um, somewhat, but overall there's a lot of pent-up demand for a number of leading companies to go public, to, that investors want to participate in their success. And uh, in theory, a successful IPO is priced to give the investors between a 10 or 20 percent, you know, initial pop for the compensation to an investor to take the risk of investing in a newly public company, which doesn't have any trading history and many cases have limited operating history. So um, they try to price them to, you know, maximize the, the uh the capital raised for the company and also to give the investors some you know, level of cushion and opportunity for taking the risk. Mm. Ivan, last week was obviously a volatile week for the market, so we can talk about that kind of timing. But also you had the drivers protesting, Uber drivers specifically, saying that they wanted a larger share of profits when it comes to the rides that they're giving. And that's going to be an ongoing issue. So you have a company uh, that isn't profitable right now and its employees, which are really its bread and butter in terms of providing the service, they want a bigger share and they want more money. So can this company ever get to profitability? Um, well, the, the strike really didn't amount to much. I mean, unfortunately for the drivers, they're not really part of a collective bargaining agreement. It's not really very well organized. But yes, the, the drivers are always going to want more compensation. And um, really, the, the majority of drivers for both Uber and Lyft are part-time people looking to you know, supplement their income. There are some portion of full-time drivers who drive the, you know, the bigger cars that have a premium price. So uh, that is really the opportunity. It's in the um, opportunity to drive like uh, the big SUVs and luxury cars, which have a higher pr premium price. And both companies create opportunities for uh, drivers to potentially access the at leasing or ownership of those cars. Sounds like you're bullish on this category. I, I'm a very bullish on the category. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know anybody who doesn't use the service who says, wow, I can just look at an app. I'm here and I want to go here. So the convenience factor uh, and the utility factor is tremendous. It has really changed car ownership. Um, you know, millennials today are not buying, you know, urban-based millennials are not buying cars. They're using these services. It is changing the way people travel. It, it is convenient and it has a lot of opportunities for to develop niche markets and uh, eventual growth. What about the broader markets, Ivan? A, a, any, any opportunity here with these big sell-offs, or do you want to stay away from stocks right now until we figure out what's going on between U.S. and China? No, I think these sell-offs, these trade-related sell-offs, are buying opportunities. Uh, I think 
President Trump was emboldened to take a tougher stance against China between the strong GDP numbers we got and the strong uh, employment number we got uh, last week. I think that emboldened him to be a little bit tougher with China. Right now, I believe President Trump does have the upper hand. Just look at this. I mean, our markets as of Friday down two and a half percent from its high uh, in the past week where uh, China, the China stock market is down 11 and a half percent since this uh, reached its all time high. Yeah. So time is not on President Trump's side, but right now he does have the upper hand. I do believe it's in both countries best interest to have a trade deal. So I think we could see a significant snap back. So I say right now these sell offs are a buying opportunity. You think something gets done? Absolutely. All right. We'll leave it there. Ivan, great to see you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Ivan Fine, Seth, joining us there.